Hey guys, today we're going to be making a cute backpack which is kind of back to school themed but if there's something I'm horrible at it is posting back to school stuff in time for back to school so I'm just posting one now. And if you want to see more designs, maybe even a more boy themed version, definitely let me know in the comments. Let's get started. First thing I did was just make the pattern and you can find the measurements for different backpacks online or you can just make one in the size you want to make it. But you're going to need the pieces that is going to form the front, back and then the front of the pocket on the front. And then you're going to need two strips which are going to go around those. You're also going to need one for the side pockets and a bottom piece. Next I customized the fabric because I don't have any pushing themed fabric for miniatures and so for this I mixed textile medium with acrylic paint and then just painted this onto the fabric. There are lots of different brands that make this textile or fabric medium so you don't necessarily have to use this brand. I first painted on the base color I wanted and then you're supposed to iron it and wash the fabric but I don't have an iron so I just heated it really well with a blow dryer and then rinsed it. I then used the blow dryer to dry the fabric and used a mechanical pencil to outline the pattern onto the fabric. I then mixed fabric medium with more shades of acrylic paint, painted on the design and blow dried it again. I didn't wash the fabric after painting on the design because I didn't want to lose the pencil lines but it's a miniature so it's going to be okay. And the reason why I used a mechanical pencil instead of tailless chalk to make the outline is just to get a more precise line. Once you're done you can cut out all the pieces and remember to leave room for sewing. Okay so to put it together I first took the pocket piece with pushing on it and then took the smallest of the two strips and attached this to the bottom. I then took the only back piece or front piece which I left without any room for sewing and glued this onto the back and this is mainly just to keep the large and small compartments separated. You can then add the front for the small pocket and I only sewed this onto the sides leaving the top open. Now take the back piece as well as the largest of the two strips and sew these together as well. Put the front and back together good side to good side and then sew it the same way you did with the smaller pocket leaving the top open. You can then add the bottom and for this one you can't really get the bottom onto the smaller pocket when it's flipped inside out. So for this one I only attached it to the back and the two sides then flipped the back and glued on the front. So for the two strips I just folded in the edge and glued them down to make the edge look a bit more neat and then for the two fronts of the pockets I cut off the excess where I didn't do any sewing. I then glued on the side pockets. If you wanted to you can add the side pockets and all the straps and such when sewing the backpack together. This is also going to be a bit more secure but I didn't want the layers to become too thick for sewing so I chose to just glue them on after. 
Next, I took a couple of pieces of embroidery floss and just coated them in glue, then glued these to the inside of the two straps to form a small loop. For the carrying or hanging strap, I just sewed on a piece of ribbon, and then for the shoulder straps, I also took some ribbon and just glued this in place, reinforcing it with a couple of stitches. For the second half of the closure, I just took some brass wire and folded it to form a hook, then sewed that onto the pocket fronts, added fabric to the inside to make it look neat, and then for the outside to hide the stitches, I just sewed on some bows. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.